Our forests are so important here in Colorado, not just for recreation and wildlife, but also for water supply. Protecting and improving the health of forests and watersheds. It's the goal of From Forests to Faucets. Forests and watersheds are the natural filter for our water supply. They're part of our water collection system. They deliver water just like a water main would. From Forests to Faucets is a partnership between Denver Water, the U.S. Forest Service, the Colorado State Forest Service, and the Natural Resources Conservation Service. As part of our From Forest to Faucets partnership, we planted over 800,000 trees in the areas that burned in the Hayman and Buffalo Creek fires. We've also treated and thinned approximately 48,000 acres of overly dense forests. The partners provide funding for forest management projects across 10 counties in Colorado. Treatments are done in zones of concern to reduce the risk of large catastrophic wildfires. Catastrophic wildfires can affect tens to hundreds of thousands of acres. They oftentimes have severe impacts on our critical watersheds and negative impacts on our communities, our wildlife, and our recreation. Forest treatments help protect Denver water reservoirs, dams, pipelines, and streams from large fires. We've come to understand that treating water at the source, at the watershed, through healthy forests, is less expensive than trying to deal with the after effects of a catastrophic event and trying to deal with the water quality issues. When there's a fire and the trees and the grass and the shrubs are all removed from that, the rains will not soak in as well as they usually do. And when they run off, they'll bring with it some of the mountain, some of the soil, some of the dirt that gets into the water and affects the water quality. After the Buffalo Creek fire in 1996, the burn area was hit by torrential rain. Flash floods raced through the burned forest and sent debris into the streams that feed Strontia Springs Reservoir. We had logs, we had propane tanks, we had trash, we had brush, we had soil all coming down into our reservoir. The Hayman Fire destroyed 138,000 acres of forest land around Cheeseman Reservoir in 2002. To recover from the fires, Denver Water had to spend more than $27 million on reservoir dredging, facility repairs, and landscape restoration projects. After the big fires, traps were built to catch sediment that washes down burned out hillsides and flows into rivers and streams. Sediment is a big problem because it flows into Denver Water's reservoirs and takes up valuable storage space. Since 2010, Denver Water and the U.S. Forest Service have invested $33 million on forest health projects. Thinning overly dense forests reduces the risk of high-intensity fires. We're not trying to stop fire. Fire is a natural part of the ecosystem. What we're trying to do is modify the fire behavior. So all of our treatments are intended to keep the fire less intense and smaller, and it actually can do some good if it goes along the ground. The Colorado State Forest Service and the NRCS joined the partnership in 2017 to coordinate treatments between federal, non-federal, and private landowners. Forest lands cover all ownerships within the state of Colorado, and wildfire simply doesn't respect those boundaries. So it's really important that we come together as entities with the joint goal of managing our forests to reduce those catastrophic wildfire risks. Forest management will continue through 2021, with the partners contributing an additional $33 million. We're treating acres in a way that we wouldn't have probably otherwise been able to treat on our own. And, and for Denver Water, it puts those lands in a condition that provides them some level of certainty that they're going to be able to continue to deliver water to their customers. We have to collaborate, we have to partner together to truly make a difference in improving the health of our forests and improving the health of our watersheds.